Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are playing the Dream Quest campaign as a four-parter mini campaign, and I am playing Pin Edwards. I decided to play a short campaign while we are waiting for the return to Circle Undone, so let's look at Finn's deck first. Uh, I decided to go heavy evasive with Finn, as Finn has good evasive um, abilities with a poor agility, and also he can uh, get clues efficiently with the poor intellect. The problem with Finn is the willpower of one, so we are probably failing all of the willpower tests. Um, I added two copies of 25 automatic to have some means of fighting, and then there are two copies of lockpicks level 0, one copy of magnifying glass for getting clues more efficiently. Uh, we hit a bad um, basic weakness, so we have Dendomorphosis, which will uh, wipe our hand slots if we hit it. So we have to keep that in mind while pe playing, but none of the hand slot items are not that um, necessary. We have other means to evade and um, get clues. Then uh, we have two copies of Obfuscation for Arcane Slots. Obfuscation is a really efficient card when you are in a pinch situation with an enemy and you just need to get the clue or um, something like that. So that is a good card for Finn. Then uh, we have two copies of Lucky Cigarette Case because that is really good with high agility. Uh, when you are evading with a high agility, you many times succeed by a lot, so you can trigger the Lucky Spirit case and draw cards. Then as the only ally we have Leo De Luca, which is a staple rogue ally. Uh, then for economy we have Lone Wolf times 2. And uh, other assets we have one copy of Streetwise, which I will be upgrading to the upgraded version, which is permanent, but for now uh, it is only to uh, keep a slot in the deck before we get um, other cards that we can submit for. Then we have uh, two copies of track shoes from the five cards we can take from level zero seeker and uh, survivor cards. Track shoes is a really good card for Finn with high agility. You can uh, get extra moves out, so that is really efficient. Uh, breaking and Entering is a really strong card for Finn, because Finn can uh, use that to get a clue while he is evading an enemy. Uh, Faustian Bargain is also in the deck, at, at least for, for the start of the campaign. I might be changing it for something else later. Then we have Inter Report, because we have a really high uh, economy card pool in this uh, deck, so Inter Report will be quite useful to grab clues without testing. Then for more movement efficiency we have Shortcut times 2. And in the skills we have What's This for more economy and versatility. Then we have Nimble, more evasive and getting the hell out of there, uh, so you can move away from the enemies you evade. And uh, then lastly we have two copies of Perception, just to have more secure investigative actions. And that is basically the deck, so we are highly evading and getting clues, not fighting that much, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we start the game uh, with the rope, so we can put one rogue card into play, paying its cost, so I decided to take Lone Wolf, so we right away start getting extra resources. And that is about it, so we have set up the scenario, as with this scenario we don't draw any encounter cards, there is no encounter deck at the start 
the scenario and it comes into play later. So without further delay, let's get started. I have shuffled the deck and we'll draw our opening hand of five cards. We'll get lockpicks, lucky cigarette case, what's this, Faustian bargain and Intel report. So I think I'm keeping the whole hand. There is no need to uh, change anything. So I think it's a setup turn and investigate. And uh, next turn we are moving to the cavern and start dealing with that. So first action, we'll just play the lockpicks. Oh yeah, and at the start of the round we gain one resource from the long move. So we'll play the lockpicks. Second action, we'll play the Lucky Cigarette Case. And we'll keep the rest. Last action, we'll just investigate. We use the lockpicks. So we are investigating... Uh, 8 versus 1, so a really high... Uh, probability to hit the threshold for the Lucky Cigarette Case, so... It is a tablet and it's a minus two and we succeed. So we will trigger the lucky secret case to draw a card. We get breaking and entering and we'll grab this clue. And that is our whole first turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. We'll draw a card, we get obfuscation and we'll gain a resource. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we start the middle space, so we add a doom, and we have to add an extra doom because we are at the steps location. Uh, this is now possible to move, so we can move into the cavern of flame. Uh, we start the investigation phase, so we get a resource from the lone wolf. Uh, I think at this point, uh, we could just play obfuscation as it is first, so I'll spend the resources. And first action will move into the Cavern of Flame. And uh, then we advance, so... If an investigator enters the Cavern of Flame, immediately advance. So each investigator loses all of their clues. Put the set aside Nost and common tile enemies into play in the Cavern of Flame. Your slumber grows deeper, add one skull token to the case back for the remainder of the campaign. And now, our objective is if neither Nast nor Common Ta are in play, immediately advance. So we put these guys into play, I'll just put them here, because we are dealing with them quite soon. We'll add the skull token. And we are ready to continue. So, uh, we need to test uh, intellect for uh, Kamanta and agility for Nast. So, we'll probably start uh, with Kamanta. And. Uh, I think I. Uh, these are uh, plus one difficulty for each player, so they are testing. I think I will. Um, I'll use the inter report to test intellect 5. Oh, yeah, and the uh, obfuscation has three charges, so. Forget. So I am testing uh, against common tar uh, 6 versus 3, so I'm 3 up. It's a minus one. So we put uh, Kamanta into the victory display. I'll just place it over there. Then we'll test agility three. And uh, this time I am using what's this? I won't spend any resources. So we are just testing uh, five versus. Three. 
And it's a minus two, so we succeed. We don't get any resources, but no matter. Uh, we put Nast also into the victory display. And then we will advance. Each investigator loses all of their clues, put the set aside 700 step space of the steps and the enchanted path location into play. Your slumber grows deeper, add one skull token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. So we have the next locations here, so 700 steps and base of the steps. And the enchanted path. And that is our turn. Uh, and forced at the end of the middle phase, each investigator at the caverns of flame takes one damage, so we have to take one damage during our next turn. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, uh, we'll draw a card, we get nimble, and we gain one whistle. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add two Doom to the uh, agenda. At the end of the middle space, we have to take one damage uh, from the camera Cavern of Flame. Then, uh, first action, we will move into the 700 steps. So, I'm just checking uh, if we would have had more than five cards here, we would have taken some. Uh, uh, we have, would have had to take horror, but we didn't have, so here, uh, forced when you leave 700 steps, take one horror for each card in your hand, in excess of 3, a uh, fast trigger ability, choose and discard one card from your hand, there is one clue here, and uh, we can't move here before we get the clue from here, so second action, uh, yeah, at the start of the round, we also get one from Lone Wolf. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, we didn't trigger that, but I think um, we'll just investigate. I'll use the lockpicks. So I'm investigating 8 versus 2, it's a minus 2. I think I'm fine taking one horror and drawing a card with the lo um, lucky cigarette case. So I'll draw a card, we get 25 automatic. And we'll move as our last action to the base of the steps. So we'll, um, uh, we'll take one horror, because we have uh, four cards in hand, and base of the steps is a uh, free travel location with one clue. So next turn we'll clear that and move out of here. So after you enter the base of the steps, if you have at least one card in your hand, test uh, willpower X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So we're testing. Uh, Uh, we are testing, um, I'll uh, commit uh, frosty and bargain for this test. So we are still testing for uh, 2 versus 4, and it's an elder sign, and it is a plus 1, so we only have to discard one card or take one horror. So I think we can. Uh, Nimble at this moment, so I'll just do Nimble, and that is our turn. No enemies, we will go to upkeep, we'll draw a card, we get a uh, replacement Nimble, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add two Doom to the agenda, there is six of 19. I will encounter cards. So we go to investigation phase, we'll get one clue, uh, resource, I mean. First action we are investigating and I'm using lockpicks and uh, 
We are investigating eight versus three. It's a minus four, so we succeed, but we won't succeed by two or more, so lucky cigarette case doesn't trigger. And then we can move to the enchanted path. So if an investigator is at the enchanted path, immediately at the end, so we'll do that. So we'll move there as a second action. So let's advance. Uh, each investigator loses all of their clues. Your slumber grows deeper. Add one skull token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. Remove each step's location from the game. Randomly choose six of the set aside enchanted clues locations to put into play. Remove the other copy from the game. Shuffle all of the remaining set aside scenario cards except for the laboring dog and Randall Carter, expert dreamer. Form the encounter deck. From now on, investigators draw cards from the encounter deck to each mythos space as normal. So uh, we'll add the skull. We'll remove these. Uh, we shuffle the enchanted thought locations. Pick six, put the one aside, we're not using that, and we have the encounter deck here, which we shuffle quickly. I already pre shuffled it, so I'll just shuffle it a bit. And uh, let's move this here, lay this around like so. Just put them like, like this, and Add some location connectors. And that is it. Uh, we have still one uh, action remaining. So our objective is uh, only in Sweden. We need five clues and only investigators at the enchanted part may spend the required number of clues to prove the advance. So uh, we could stay here and just get clues, but I think that is dull and we won't get any XP like that, so last action I will play just in case the four, uh, 25 automatic it's just for ammo so we have some way of dealing damage if we hit enemies That is our turn. No enemies. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Uh, Finn's trusted 38, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. And let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. So we have a 7 of 19. Encounter card is a prismatic phenomenon. Uh, put this, uh, prismatic, uh, a prismatic phenomenon into play in your threat area. First time you perform one of the following actions, draw, resource or play. Each round it costs one additional action. After you successfully investigate the location, instead of discovering clues, discard prismatic phenomenon. Okay, well, uh, I think we are pretty set up. Uh, we well, breaking and entering might be useful. Well, uh, at this point we just ignore that. First action, we'll move to the enchanted woods here. So we get the fungal forest. It's a five shroud location with one clue. Uh, when your turn begins, if you are at this location, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If you reveal a skull, call this tablet alerting or auto fail token. Take one damage and lose one action. There is one clue here. So. I think this is clearly a lockpick location, so we are lockpicking. And uh, I'm committing the Finn's Trusty 38 in this test, so we are testing 9 versus 5. So a minus 4 won't fail us. <laughs> and it's a minus 4, so lucky we did that. Uh, we grab the clue. Last action, we'll move back here. Have to test anything or 
see if we take damage and lose actions. So, uh, that is our turn. All, uh, we also got one from the Lone Wolf, which I forgot. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, force the bargain, and gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, and counter card is. Uh, Dreamlands Eclipse. Put Dreamlands Eclipse in the bay next to the agenda deck. Forced. When you initiate an investigation, you must either take one horror or your location gets a plus two shroud for this investigation. At the end of the round, discard Dreamland Eclipse. So I'll place it here. That is okay. Uh, first action will move over here. So, Enchanted Woods, Grains. Stone circle after this location is revealed, spawn the Sepasat laboring cock at this location. So we get the laboring gog. And uh, Finn has the extra ability to evade, so we are using that. I am evading and I'm evading uh, I think we try to evade without adding anything so I think, yeah, uh, before we do that, I'll use Obfuscation to uh, ignore the attack of opportunity. Using block picks, I will investigate here. And uh, I'll give the location cluster sprout. We are still investigating. Uh, for 8 versus 3, so it's fine. It's a tablet and I won't fail. So we'll grab this clue. And last act, uh, now we'll use the Finn's extra action to evade. So we are evading and now I'm committing the. Oh, yeah, uh, we'll use the Lucky Cigarette case to draw a card. Shortcut, nice. So, evading eight versus uh, five versus two, and it's a minus two, so we succeed, and we uh, succeed by one, so we can move. One time, so we'll just move out of here while this guy is evaded. Last action, uh, we'll check out the next location. And it is the Moon Tree. Uh, three Shroud, one Clue. After you enter this location, you must either take the horror or lose all of your remaining actions. We don't have any actions to lose, so we have to take the horror, unfortunately. And at this point, I'll just check because now uh, these are connected. These are not connected. So we ignore that for the time being. Uh, when we get more connections, I'll shuffle the locations around a bit to form the connections. Okay, so. That is our turn, and I'm just double checking. We haven't played anything. We just committed cards, so this goes away. Uh, upkeep. This guy readies. We'll get no resource card. We get Leo de Luca. Okay, and uh, I think that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and uh, this guy is over here. So uh, we add a Doom. We are at 9 Doom of 19. Count card is another Dreamers Eclipse. That is okay for now. Uh, first action. I think we don't have time to play Leo anymore. Oh yeah, we get one resource. So I am just investigating here. I'm using lockpicks, investigating. 
Um, just yeah. So we are eight versus three. So investigating uh, zero, we succeed. We trigger the lucky secret case. Draw card. Another obfuscation. Then uh, we'll move out of here. Move. I, uh, I think I'm uh, last action. I'm investigating this location to get rid of this, and I'm committing the Faustian bargain. Oh yeah, and uh, we added the shroud. So five versus eight still succeeds, and this zero also that is okay. And uh, uh, we are investigating four versus two here. Uh, actually, this is four versus four. Let's not do that. So, I'll just uh, move. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to investigate without uh, committing. So, four versus four. And it's a zero. So, we get rid of this uh, prismatic phenomenon. Because this added two. So, four versus four, we are fine. Uh, uh, this gets discarded. Uh, this guy which move, uh, it can't hunt to us, so it stays put. We're ready up. Draw a card. Magnifying glass and the so, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we still need two clues, but let's see. Now we'll add a doom ten of nineteen. Encounter card is uh, dreamers cursed. Test will power five for each point you fail by take one damage to a maximum of three damage for the purpose of counting icons committed. Everything else is one icon and uh, wild and will are two matching icons. So I'll commit Faustian Bargain which is three, so I'm four versus five. I will commit shortcut, so I am six versus five. Hopefully we don't take that much damage here. Skull and half of the cards in your hand so it's so we take one damage. That is fine. Okay. Mm. We'll go to the investigation phase. Uh, we'll add a resource. First action will move over here. It is the Enchanted Woods village of Zook. After a Zook enemy with the Swarming Axe keyword spawns at this location, add one additional swarm card to it. Hopefully we get away from here before that. So second action will use the lock picks. And uh, actually as a fast action I'll no, I'll just commit this. Because we don't want to lose our stuff, so your uh, nine versus three. Actually no point in committing anything. So 8 versus 3, 0, we'll trigger the cigarette case, track shoes, nice, we grab this clue and last action we'll move back here. Okay, one more uh, clue needed, we have plenty of time to maybe get all of the locations, but let's see the connections now. So uh, these are connected, so we'll just add connection here, and that is it, so no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw a card, lucky cigarette case, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, 11 of 19, encounter card is 
Lost in the woods search. Each investigator at the enchanted location test uh, will part three. Each investigator who fails use one action and take one horror. Uh, we are at the enchanted path, so this only searches. And prismatic phenomenon. Well, nothing we can do about that. So uh, first action, we'll just move over here. Uh, we find the enchanted woods, lost woods. Uh, pause. After you reveal this location, if you do not leave this location before the end of the round, place one doom on the current agenda. One clue, shroud of four. So I think we are just uh, investigating. So I'm using the lock picks again. Uh, eight versus four. That is fine. It's a plus one. Uh, we'll trigger the. Actually, do we want to draw any more cards? Because we don't want to lose these. If we hit the uh, basic weakness. So I, I opt to not use that lucky secret case anymore. We are so close to the end. So we had. The five clues, last action will move here, but I think we will be greedy and go get the last location next round. So the, this location is not connected to anything else, so we'll just keep that hit there. Uh, this guy doesn't do anything, and we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, smuggle goods, and we gain one resource. I think we might have forgotten the lone wolf, but it doesn't matter. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Uh, 12 of 19. And counter card is obscuring fog. So we got a freebie. This location gets plus two shroud, which doesn't affect our game at all. First action will move to the last location, and it is the stone tap uh, trapdoor. Two shroud plus one. While you are investigating this location, it's it gets plus one shroud for each card in your hand. So we will commit everything we have to the test. I am using... Uh, I'm committing smuggled goods, uh, magnifying glass, breaking and entering. So it's route of four. We are using off picks, so we are eight, nine, ten, eleven versus four. And it's a zero, so we grab this clue. Last action will move here, and we will advance. So we spend five clues, and new visitors. We have to decide, step back, and watch this real scene play out. Inter interrupt the scare, scare cat, and handle this yourself. So, yeah, that went pretty well. I think I will uh, ponder on which resolution I'll pick. But uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 experience. So, there are heavy duty upgrades coming before we get to the search of for Kadat scenario. And I will do the interludes. Uh, stuff like that in between the videos. So uh, Finn did really well in this uh, scenario and uh, I'm really happy how the deck works. So making some upgrades now, uh, the lockpicks and Leo and uh, stuff like that will get probably graded first and we'll see some higher level of cards that I might upgrade. But as the deck functions really well, I won't be making any radical changes, just upgrading the cars I already have to higher levels. But yeah, uh, that went really well. Uh, next, uh, I will be playing the search for Kadath, and hopefully we'll get uh, at least five paths for, for the signs of the Elder Gods or whatever we are collecting in that, I can't remember. 
and of course uh, we'll get Randolph Carter into our deck after this scenario, so another ally. But yeah, that is the scenario. We'll continue next time in the search for Kadat. Thanks for watching and until next time.